What's happening? I hope you guys were checking out the candle holders. Thank you for joining us live down at Sublimation 101 in Branchburg, New Jersey. I am your host, Mr. Rourke, and welcome to Sublimation Fantasy Island. Yo, what's happening? What an open house we had today. The snow did not stop these people. I had people from Texas, Virginia, Delaware, Pennsylvania, Virginia. Six hours it took the guy to get here. It's normally a three-hour ride for him. He just kept going. Gotta love it. What's happening? It was a long day. We had fun, but you know what? Doing a lot of lives lately, guys, just so you have the understanding. I'm going live to show you how to make product. You know, not trying to sound out of line and to things that are said, but I'm not going to let that bother me. But I'm just telling you, I'm going live so you know. I'll, after Monday, just so you know, there's only five Mondays left until Christmas. And then one Monday left until Hanukkah. <gasps> what do I do? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Loving that cookie jaw. Guess what? Cookie jaw told me it's loving you back. So we had a great afternoon today. I'm going to be posting some pictures. We had a lot of hands on. We made some cool mugs. Um, we made just tons of stuff. We made keychains. We did glass today. We did mugs. We did metal. We did it all. This is a oh snap. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no, getting a little tired. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's, it's you know, a long day with uh, a class teaching and stuff nonstop. Wanda Davis, what's happening out there? You coming in tomorrow? Who is coming in tomorrow that's watching live right now? Let, but we do have some good news. We are, hold on, guys, I'm sorry. And Butchie, if you're out there, I shaved. Because of the weather, we got a lot of requests. December 6th, 7th, and 8th, which is a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we are hosting another open house. Anka, what's happening? Leanne, you out there? Say hello. Um, so basically, I just want you to know, because of the weather, we're going to reschedule another one for the 6th, 7th, and 8th. We're going to get the discount room rates and everything again for you, which is cool. If you noticed, I'm in a different room tonight. Is there anybody new watching that has not watched us live before? Please type. What's up, baby girl? Just wanted to touch base. And uh, can you type the word new in and let me know uh, if you're new, first time joining me live? I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Again, Michael Kaminsky, everything you're seeing behind me, around me, near me, in front of me is sublimation101.com. Because remember, without 101, it's just sublimation, guys. So, and any questions so far as we're going? Big Mac, I'll see you tomorrow, I hope. Ah, Prex, welcome. Your first time joining us. And say hello to Adam, which I took a guess is your son's name out in Long Island. Adam! What's happening, kid? New from Oklahoma. Welcome in Oklahoma. Tony, thank you. Walk, welcome, welcome. Thank you. My name is Michael Kaminsky. I'm a sublimation guru for over 25 years of uh, doing sublimation. Our company, Sublimation 101. Jared, good evening, is based out of Branchburg, New Jersey. Um, pretty much love what I do right now. Uh, I'm in a different room tonight, guys. Check it out. I am in the Sublimation 101 Mug Press Training Center tonight. This is a whole different room than I'm always in, guys. Hey, Jason. This is the monk press room. Yes, we're open tomorrow. Starting next week, we'll be shipping on Saturdays. This is everything. This is your monk press, vacuum press training center we offer out here. Thank you, Emily. We do buttons, our mug presses. Everything's here for you to use, just like my other room. It's just a separate room in the office. It's a real room. It's not a staged room in a warehouse. Look, there's a door. And this is where you guys come in and we set up our chairs and you come in and train. I never get snowed in, Cindy Shep. I never get snowed in. I had... Whoa, I hope that made you dizzy. Did I lose you for a minute, guys? I never get snowed in. No. 
We had people here. I picked her up. We went in the blizzard. I drove her. It never stops us. Open house went on. There was a few less people, but we had people flying in from all over. You come to class anytime, Cindy. Anytime. You guys ready to get down to some business tonight, making some candle holders or what? Three D press, good idea, Barrington. Tomorrow night, I'm gonna three D press it. You got it by request, my brother B. Three D press tomorrow night. I always do what I gotta do, Richard. Always, to the end, my friend. There you go, Bulls. My man Bulls sticking up, drive right through the blizzard and get his boy Michael. Right at you over there, buddy. Yes, we're going to do the cookie jar. Oh, yes, absolutely. Guys, let's go over now. Come on. Let's get started. We were chatting away here. Let's make some easy-to-make products in the mug press. So, guys, you saw when we started the video tonight. No, that beep is my, is my monitor, Cindy, that's hooked up to me to make sure I'm alive. No, that's hooked up to me. I'm Superman. I got to monitor myself. It's like Iron Man. I get hooked up to a machine because I'm unstoppable. They've tried, and they can't. And that's my secret weapon right there, you hear, that keeps me strong. It gets me so excited I drop the camera. Cindy, I'm only joking. It's the mug press. <laughs> oh, I'm joking. <laughs> Sydney, thank you so much, hon. You are the best. Pull the... <laughs> That's right, baby. You know it, honey. Unstoppable. Cindy, that is the mug press you hear beeping, hon. Thank you. Thank you for, for making us smile tonight. I owe you a treat in one of your orders. Our mug press is CE certified. And what that means is because we have it made overseas... For CE certification, thank you, Jason. For CE certification, the mug press has to beep to alert you that it's on for insurance purposes. That's the difference of an import machine that's not CE certified and a machine that is CE certified. Solrec, what's happening? I'm loving your stuff, pal. Looking good. So again, we're coming to you live down at sublimation101.com, Branchburg, New Jersey. Often imitated, never duplicated. Again, this is our training center we're going to be working from tonight, which is our mug press, vacuum press training center room. All the toys ready to go. It's our display in the hallway for the open house. So, with further ado... Let's get started, and let's do some designing. We're going to take a walk, guys, and for my newbies, just so you know, I want to welcome you again, and um, right now, taking you into the Sublimation 101 Flat Press Training Center. As you see, we had it set up from today. We were doing some stadium style. You come watch everything. You come into the Flat Press Training Center. You use your machines, learn and walk out of here every time, making beautiful products, guys. This is just a sample of come up. Hi, Lisa. Just a sample. Lisa, you've been in that chair of what we have here to offer you at Sublimation 101. So with further ado, let's get candle going. That was our pizza from today. And there's me walking at you in the mirror. See? It's a real place, guys. Okay, guys. You notice we got our mug press set. Let's make this easy so you can watch. Our first item tonight in the candle section. We're going to make our larger tea candle holder which will be this one right here in our mug press. Very simple, fast, and easy to make. There's your droplet for the tea candle. 
It's got the little rubber feet, which I did not put on this one, but I do already have pre for you on this one. There's the rubber feet so it doesn't scratch the tabletop or surface. And we're gonna come over to our computer. Tonight we're gonna to be using the SG400. Normally we're in the big room using the 800. And we have our 400 set up. So guys, I know and you know we can make this on mug size paper. So let's make this real simple, okay? First thing I'm gonna do is measure the circumference of my mug. Now, the circumference of my mug is 10 inches, okay? 10 inches. The height, excuse me, my candle holder. I'm so used with, my, I'm in the mug room, that's why, I apologize. The circumference is 10 inches, thank you. The maximum height from bevel to bottom is four inches. Minusing the bevel area, you're pretty much down to about a three inch high image. You don't wanna hit the bevels. If you're gonna do a full bleed, you're not gonna hit the taper on the bottom. That is too large of a bevel. Chances are in a full bleed you can get to the top, but I'm gonna feel safer at a three inch high, probably about a six to seven inch round, maybe eight inch image. So three inches high, eight inches round. So I'm just gonna jot that down on my little scrap paper that I always keep by me. And we're gonna go into Creative Studio and get creative. Tonight I'm gonna to be using the four by nine mug paper. I already had an image up on the monitor. But for those of you that have missed it, we can start over. I hope everybody's got a good view. Thank you, Bulls. So basically, let's start from the beginning. We're gonna launch our Creative Studio Designer. We're gonna log right in, guys. You know I always X that one out and I always go over to the top here and I use product. And tonight I'm gonna to be using a blank canvas. I'm gonna double check my printer. I have the four inch by nine inch sublimation paper, which is right there. Especially if you're making multiples, you know you've heard me say this before. Always use the smaller paper. It's a lot easier to work with. So basically if I go into images, actually I saw a nicer one I like that, um, Dawn, who did the training on one of our videos for the full wrap mug, and I loved it. So I went to holidays and we go to Christmas. And once we shoot over to Christmas, there are a lot of array of items in here. I mean, you can add photos to candle holders. You can add photos and put them on. Those are in the premiums. The ones that you can use free are the ones that are down here. Again, there's a lot of cool designs, depending upon what you're looking for. Again, you don't know unless you click the Images and Designs button and go to the left-hand section when it lights up in Creative Studio. I know a lot of you are afraid sometimes to go into this section, but you really got to look because there's some cool stuff in here for you to use. Okay, I'm just doing a little search around just to see what we got in here. And we're going to find something pretty. With a long background, something to go around the holder in a nice size. Oh, now we're starting to hit some pretty stuff here. There we go. I saw that blue looked really nice. I'm going to go back up to that snow. I really like that one the best, to be very honest with you. That blue snow just looks very pristine. But you know what? Because I use, here we go. This is in Created Studio, and this is for you to use free. So basically you're gonna lay out your canvas as if you were the artist right now because you are in your own business, the artist here. So I know my height is three inches, so I'm gonna bring that in first to three inches high, okay? So I got that in there at about three inches high. Now it's in my canvas. My measurements are right up here in the corner. Now I'm at about six inches wide. I could stretch it out a little maybe here to make it seven to pull it around a little. Now, once that is done, that's my canvas. Now you wanna type in maybe some text. You would simply just click, click text right here. And you could put something in that says maybe season's greetings if you want. Okay, 
Now, it's hard to visualize here and see it, so what I would do is I'd make it white for now, just so I can see it, and then I would go Object, Text Font, and remember when you pick out your font, Alpha Slab 1 is the one we're using, you have to write that down. We don't want you to forget that. Alpha Slab 1, so there's Seasons, and then you would put your next line in, which would be Greetings, G-R-E-E-T-I-N-G-S, Greetings, and again, I'm gonna size it down here. I'll make it white so I can see it, and I'll apply that, and then I'll go Object, and I'll go Text Font, and it was Alpha Slab 1, and there it is, and now it's gonna match below, and there's your little candle holder. That's at a .92 in height. That's at a .72, but it really does coincide very nice, if you notice, and if you wanna make sure it's centered a lot, um, Object, Align horizontally, see? Object, align horizontally. There is the center ready to go. Now, again, if it's for a business or anything, you can add whatever you like and want to design. If this is all in the eyes of the holder and the client. You can put a photo, an image, a logo. If you can print it, you can transfer it. No, you cannot add fonts in Creative Studio. I'm sorry. Hi, Connie. Okay, I'm trying to get the screen the best I can for you guys because I am in a new room. I'm going to add my banner. I'm going to shrink it down to size. I'm going to put it at the bottom because if I was bringing these over to customers, object align horizontally. My candle is ready. That is correct, Leanne. We're gonna print that out, we're gonna hit one, and we're gonna let Creative Studio do the rest. Knowing we have our mug size paper in, and we're gonna print that out right now. Our, there we go. High quality, ceramic, text print art, auto tray select, mirror image. I followed the path. The color is a graphic, and I hit print. That print is simply gonna print right out of our printer, like so. Hey Jane, did you have a good time today? I got some great pictures there with you. It was a lot of fun today. So we have our image coming out. Tommy, what's happening, guy? Our image is coming out. Candle holder is so easy to make, guys. Hi, Deborah. Thank you for joining us, guys. We're going to make a few of them, so we'll have some fun here. Okay? Just can't go too late because we have class in the morning. I just was thinking about candle holders for the holiday. So our print is coming out of the SG800. For, excuse me, the 400 on our mug size paper. There it is. Clean, ready to go. Let's go over to our mug press. Now what we're gonna do here is, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap our image. We're gonna check our paper and wrap it right around the mug, which is perfect, okay? You don't even need to trim it, guys. It's very simple and easy. You just, being that we used a paper that is straight and even, because we did not have to cut it. When lining it up, if your top gap is even, the whole transfer is gonna be even. That's the advantage of using the smaller paper. We have our mug press set. For those of you that have the same mug press or similar, you push the mode button once, 350, the mode button a second time for 380, the third time for 60 seconds, the mode time stop, let your machine heat up to 350, medium pressure, you're gonna put the tape line on the top, and you're simply going to close your mug press down and push the green button on the bottom right, which is the start button, indicating that this happened, your set light will be flashing, and that's what your candle should look like, your candle holder in your mug press. Now what I suggest to you is that you guys definitely should have a pair of gloves with you on this one. 
because there's no handle like a mug. It's going to be very hot to pick up. So we're going to let that bake. My classes are free. Cindy, I don't charge for classes. Everybody knows that. So we have that cooking away in there. Everything is available at sublimation101.com. I'll put the links up in a little bit as we go. Um, guys, while we're going and that's cooking, let's proceed with our next project. Our next project tonight is going to be, that is a Drake J-Trans 6-in-1 mug press that's available at Sublimation 101, which is my company. And I will put the link up for you, and I do have a special for members of the page and so forth, which we can discuss after if you don't mind. I'm doing, look at this, crystal, glass, frosted, holds a larger candle. The depth on this one compared to a tea candle, guys, just so you know, this will hold a candle that's almost an inch and a half high deep. You can see my finger going in, that's how deep. Yes, Deborah, that is cool, right? Thank you, Christina. How's Marilyn, honey? I hope all is well. Our mug press beeped. So before we measure, let's go over and see what happened. We're gonna take a walk over to the wild side. Mug press is beeping. That's alerting you that your item is finished. That's what I meant by CE certification. So once that is done, I'm gonna push the stop button. I'm gonna have my glove on. I'm gonna open it up nice and easy. I'm gonna slide it out. As you saw, all the steam coming out. I'm simply gonna grab my paper and I'm gonna pull it right off like so. Because it's hot, I'm gonna set it right down on the counter. Give me one second, please. Now you tell me the color and clarity on that, guys. How's that candle holder? Ah, oh, you like that, huh? Let me spin it around for you. Look at those clean, crisp edges. Christina, you can put it in the water, yes. Uh, tea light. Christina had a great question. Yes, Christina, right in the water? Absolutely. Dunk. Submerge. Towel. Out. Be careful, the bottom will fill up with water. You don't want to make a mess. I'd love to see that one. <laughs> that would be great, guys. I'll be laughing with you. Dry it off. Ready to go. Bam! Let's talk quality. Is that white, white? Room temperature water. Thank you, Jason, for the assist. Room temperature water will cool it down. Yeah, wait, wait, let's zoom in on that a little more if we can. Hold on, guys. 
How's that for clarity? There you go. There's the website. Check it out. Click that website right there. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Hold on one minute. I think I saw a request out there. Hold on. Sharon. Sharon. Is that what you want me to do? Talk to me, Sharon. Is that what you meant? Bling or Bing? Because my name ain't Chandler and I'm not on Friends, so is that what you're talking about? Add a little bling? Oh. Did somebody say... Bling on the cookie jar. There we go. Sharon, I'm with you on that one. That's what I'm talking about. So let's go back to our second one now. You know what, guys? We'll make it easier and faster, if you don't mind. Can we just use the same image? Thank you. So, since we're going to use... Uh, with some bling now because of our girl Sharon out there. You know it. Sharon, you know you made me smile with that. Come on now. Come on, girl. You know that had me going. I'm Michael. You know I'm a funny guy. All right, we're going to measure it up. Got about three and a half inches, the glass. So with that being said, my circumference is nine and a half inches. So we got three and a half by nine and a half. I'm gonna jot that down, but I'm not gonna use that size. I'm gonna go with the standard three by eight that we just used, okay? Watch this. So I'm in Creative Studio, and I go to Images, and I wanna change the background for this one, just the background, the front is fine. Let's shoot over to Images. Uh, let's go over to holidays. Let's go over to Christmas. And we're going to grab ourselves a background. Um, let's get a little color on, here we go, here we go guys, we're going to grab ourselves a background, we're going to change it from blue to red, okay, automatically done, there we go, give me a moment, whoops, You know what? Let's go something totally different. I have something nice in here for Christmas. No problem, Jane. Let me just go in here and just type in Christmas to make it faster. I want to try to find something that's going to pop a little on that glass with the bling. Oh, you can add bling to anything. There we go. Let's see what we got in here. I know I saw something I really like this afternoon. Let me 
me just check one more spot, guys. There we go. Something's going to look nice with a little bling to add sparkle for the holidays. There we go. Let's go to a nice Christmas wintry scene. We said we can go three inches high. So let's watch our height. And we said we're going to go about eight inches long. Stretch it out. Let's go about seven and a half so we don't lag it out too much. We'll go something like that. We're just going to leave it plain and simple. We're going to print it out. Now remember, we're working with glass on our next item, guys. Ceramic glass, text print art, auto tray select, high quality mirror image. My color is a graphic and I hit print. Hey, Lana, howdy. Lana, I got Jane from Texas up here. Aloha, Kathy Lloyd. How are you? So our image is going to come out and we're going to shoot right over to the mug press again. Our mug press is set. I'm going to pull that back a little. It ain't got that thing unless you got that bling. Got it for you. So I'm going to simply line up my bling sheet to about the height of my candle. Make a little marker there to know where to cut so I don't waste my bling. And I'm going to cut right across here. Just about the roundness of my candle. holder. So now I'm just going to check it out. My bling sheet fits fine. That's the last part I'm going to use. The only thing I will recommend for you to do, because you want to work everything right, is always give a little pull on the bling sheet and fold your corner for easy peeling to apply onto the next item. Okay? That's done. Now remember, because we're working with glass, this particular item does not go in water, guys. It will shatter. So I'm going to grab my candle holder right here. Make sure you have the right side up. Okay? The shorter side is the, is the side that it goes on. I'm going to grab two pieces of heat tape like so. I'm simply going to wrap it right around the candle. And what's nice about working with the glass candle, you can see right through it and I'm going to show you in a moment on the inside so you know that everything gets lined up properly. Let me just fix this over here for you and I'll give you a nice inside view. And this way you know it all lines up. Good look. You can see right inside and see all your color. Makes it a lot easier to make sure everything looks good and lined up. And again, I'm just going to make sure my alignment is good. And I'm simply going to go to my mug press, push the mode button once, 350, 380. Now I am going to turn it down to 30 seconds. And I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to make sure my pressure is firm, tightening the knobs to the left. Because of the circumference of this one not being as large as the other one, you're going to find yourself tightening it to a, a lot more on your pressure. We're going to put that in, and we're simply going to push the start button like so. Hey, hey, Dawn, we're doing the candles. Thank you, Jason. M mirror image, yes. The only, oh, good question I saw. Good question about mirror image. You only turn off mirror image on flat glass items. 
Mirror image is only used on flat glass items. This is round glass, so you will mirror image. Flat glass only. Frames, cutting boards, glass coasters. Flat, no mirror image transferring on the back to look down. Mug, glass, or candle holder glass going around. Easy way to remember, guys. Our mug press is counting down already guys so let's go over and let's give a look I'm gonna push the stop button like so I'm gonna open it up you saw all that nice hot steam come out notice I had my glove on now I'm going to remove my paper I am simply going to take my bling sheet while the glass is hot remove Bling sheet around, right onto the glass, like so. Take a paper towel. Wipe the bling sheet. Then, peel it right off. The bling is right on the glass. Did you catch that, lovies? What's up? How's that? Oh, that's it? That's all I get for that one. You like that, huh? Very good, Sharon. Sharon, you get a blend sheet with your next order. $5 a sheet. Sharon, you get a bling sheet for bringing it up tonight. You like that, huh? I knew you'd like that. Sharon, great one, baby. Good call tonight, Sharon Hudson. Shout out to Sharon Hudson. That's what I'm talking about. This is teamwork. This ain't all about Michael and Sublimation 101 going live. It's about teamwork, baby. Teamwork! You like that, huh? Crystal, we will be open tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Call us. Hand wash that bling. That's right, Randy Dawn. If you put bling on mugs, guys. Hey guys, I put bling on my mug with the Statue of Liberty. You see my bling on the mug? That's a hand wash, no microwave, no dishwasher. No, 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 no. Lisa, whatever you wanna to cover tomorrow, we cover. How you like that stuff tonight, guys? Talk to me. You like it or what? Or should I go home? I had a laugh. Wait. Mike. I do the Carlton, baby. You got to love it. That's what it's all about, baby. Better to love what you do and fail than not do it at all and fail. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's what it's all about. Making something and then doing the carton, babies. Oh, yeah. That's what it's about. That's why I love sublimation. I love me some sublimation. For what I see, I see some people writing. I love me some Michael Kaminsky. That's what it's all about. Ah, uh, you like that? Had two already, Dan. Thank you. Oh, uh, you know, baby, I'm just on a roll. What was that from, uh... Oh, wait, I got a funny one. You know, Dan. Dan, you bring out the funniness in me. But, Dan, you know what movie I thought about when you said that? Al Pacino, Scent of a Woman. 
If I was the man I was 20 years ago, I'd take a flamethrower to this place. We're going to put up all the product links as soon as we're done. Oh! Cookie jar. Small little candy jar. Oh, yeah, it's small. It's... It's only six inches high. It's small. Yeah, you're right. It is small. It is. But did you ever think at thinking outside the box? And it is once again 10 inches round, 11 inches round. Okay? Love those. Thank you, Crystal Jones. If you think practical, you fill it up with penny candy. It comes with the gift box, put a gift card inside. Oh, oh my God, that's a great idea. Of course it is. It's simple, it's easy, it's practical. Uh, Marilyn, we only are stocking the six in one mug press right now and the special for the page, uh, you can have the it's special for the page. I'm not gonna give you, oh, it's a Black Friday sale. Ah! The special for the page is $4.99. Everybody that has one out there, excluding yourself until now, has paid $4.99. And that is my show special when I have a show and a special for the group. Uh, easy, Randy Dawn. That's, a, that's on a good night. Oh, somebody stop him. Take him off the air, Howard Stern. All right, guys, let's turn that around. Exactly, Sharon. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has left the building. Object, delete. Let's go to images. Oh, I love it. Uh, I'm glad you love the press. Yeah, I'm glad you guys are happy with our product and service. I know I'm not the only company out there. Believe me, I know. It's not a secret, okay? Yes, there's other companies that sell sublimation. Guys, I'm fortunate and fortunate for me and us. I love what I do. I could sit here and do this all night. I got the ultimate playground because I have a real training center, which I train myself and I train other people. And you know what? I sleep good at night knowing that. So let's get something pretty here for the holiday again, you know? It's so festive. Did I tell you guys we're having an open house December 6th? 7th and 8th, and we have Randy Dawn Davis coming up from Florida, who is going to teach you guys, whoops, let's get that out of there, we're not going to put a cookie jar with that, we're going to teach you guys how to do full bleed mugs in the vacuum press. No, I don't sleep a lot, to tell you the truth, no, you know I don't, Lisa. I'll take a nap for a couple of hours, and then I'll be on Skype overseas working for you guys. Guys, wait until you see some gold and silver mugs I've got coming. You're going to poop yourselves. Let me tell you now. Oh, this is gorgeous right here. Oh, look at this for the holiday. This is gorgeous. This does not need nothing right here. All right, so we're going to go with our height. We said we have, we have plenty of height on here. So let's go 3.58 inches, 6 inches around, align horizontally, align vertically. That is beautiful right there. Look at the color, the fire. You guys like that? Oh, Jane, I can get you back. Tuesday, they'll be here, honey. We'll talk about that. They'll be here for you when you get here, but yes. Yeah, that's a beautiful image. Oh, Jane, yes, you can, my love. Yes, you can. Michael will get you back. He promises. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to send that over to the sublimation printer right now. That should be coming out any second for us. There we go. For our lovable, laughable cookie jar, cookie jar, cookie jar. So you guys having a good time gearing up for the holidays? I'm glad we got you. Uh, thank you very much. Um... Oh, thank you, guys. 
Oh, we're gonna get to that little candle. Don't you worry. Cookie jar, rubber topper, remove lid. Do when open only. Do not melt lid to cookie jar. Cookie monster get mad. <laughs> oh yeah, let's hit them hard and treat them right, baby. There we go, right in front of the mug press down at sublimation101.com. Often imitated, never duplicated. So let me go on this side for you. You should have a great view, good. So we're gonna take our two pieces of heat tape. We're gonna put them right on the sides of our cookie jar, candy jar, jarry jar, jar head, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna wrap it right around the designated area, watching our spacing, making sure our top is straight. We're gonna pull it right down over here, secure your tape. To make sure it's secure, guys, what I want you to do on everything you do cylindrical, Make sure you don't feel any air bubbles or anything around it because there are bevels on some of these products. Now, remember, we just had that thinner item in there, so we're going to have to back off the pressure on our muck press because the circumference on the candy jar is way larger than the candle holder. So I'm going to back up my pressure. I'm going to slide it right in. Oh, it still feels a little snug, so I'm going to back it up even more. You never want to force anything down with the mug press, guys. See, I'm still be, I still would have to force it, so I'm going to back it up. You notice I'm not panicking because the product is in there. Nothing's going to affect that. That's fine. Got my pressure set. Going to hit it up to my one minute because it's ceramic. And push the start button and let it go. I remember one time I did this live, it blew up because I had it on too hot. And when I took it out of the warehouse, it was cold and it went boom. It will happen. Ah, oh, come on. I had a good day, Barrington. I got snow. I'm always in rare form, baby. Better rare form than bare form. I got my, hey, Barrington, I got my Brooklyn uh, wife beater tank top on tonight. Don't make me take it off. I heard about the last guy that took his top off. Everybody ran. So, guys, I'm going to put up some product links right now for you. Here is the product link I'm going to set up for you while it's going for the candles. Here is the product link for the mug press for you. I'm right here, guys. I know they were looking, somebody was asking about the mug press. Um, the special for you guys for this mug press, and I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you it's the, the Black Friday, the pre-sale, no problem. Guys, here it is. Page special mug press. $4.99. Do you think I don't appreciate 10,000 people liking me that I can't offer you guys a, a price for following me and watching me? Of course I can. This is not a share a link. Please understand that. None of my links are a share a link. My links go directly to my website, sublimation101.com. All right, let's head back in, guys. I hear it beeping. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. Guys, unfortunately tonight we had a catastrophe. Our candy holder did blow up in the machine, unfortunately. So, with that being said, we're gonna start over because it was so cold. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna turn my time down to 30 seconds on this particular product at 350, 380. I'm not gonna lie to you, we did have a little catastrophe. I did say that before, that we have to set that time right for certain products. I take it right off the counter for you. I'm not going to lie to you and say I didn't push the start button or anything into that retrospect. I am simply going to go right over here. I am going to pull out a fresh candy jar. I'm going to set it for 30 seconds. I'm just going to do a quick reprint on here.
So basically what happened tonight, guys, just so you have an understanding. Oh, yeah, it's going to happen. Listen to me. My, my warehouse is a lot colder than my demo room. So I didn't take that factor into consideration that the ceramic is very cold. The ceramic inside is very, it's very cold right now. So that will happen, yes. I mean, I'm sure your warehouse is not 50 degrees right now where you're keeping your merchandise. Because there's no reason for me to have the heat on, we're closed. So we're gonna flip it over one more time, guys. And we're gonna go another time at the village gate. Well, the best part is, and you know what I like, guys, and I always tell you this when I go live. I like when mistakes happen because it's a learning curve for both of us. So in other words, you need to know is when you put this particular product into your machines, you don't want that ceramic to be cold. So I'm simply going to tie it around one more time. Make sure no debris is in the machine. I'm going to lock it down. I'm going to back up my pressure a little here. Again, just to make sure no debris is around it. Hit the button, and we're going to go right off with the mug right again. We're going to put our jar right in. Just going to get that little piece out from under there. Here's the ones we did so far this evening. Those look really pretty, don't they? Marilyn, yes, I would warm it up a little if you can. Yeah, it broke a tile. It happens. Listen, if every product was perfect, we wouldn't have error. We wouldn't have to do live videos. Can I ask you something? How do those look right there for you guys? Those look good, don't they? So I still didn't lose. But again, I want to thank you for joining us live tonight at Sublimation 101. We're going to finish up with our candy jar tonight. We showed you how to make candy jar holders and cookie holders. We hope you enjoyed tonight's presentation. Um, you know how much we love to do sublimation with you guys. And we're cooking away down. I put the link up for the candles. I'm going to go back in and we're going to do it again. And I'll put the links up. Thank you so much. Jane, you definitely got to check this out tomorrow. Definitely, honey. Did you order dinner yet? This is true, Jason. But also, you got to remember, guys. Guys, remember one thing. You're saying preheat and preheat. Sometimes you... Oh! Let's get it out of the machine. Open. Out. Stop. Just got to find my glove. I'm going to take it out. Always peel on the paper. And there we go, guys. All I had to do was cut the time down to 30 seconds instead of 65, instead of 60 seconds. And we got our perfect, look at the fire. We put our lid back on. You like it. Thank you very much, guys. Boom, all done. Of course. Thank you very much. Thank you. Always appreciate it. Good night, Deborah Jean White. I'm ready to call it a night myself, guys. I'm going to put up the product link as soon as we're done here with the video. I want to thank you so much again for joining us. Let's see what tomorrow night brings us. To those of you that are joining us at the open house tomorrow, can't wait to see you. It's cold out there. Again, my name is Michael Kaminsky, sublimation101.com. Often imitated, never duplicated.
always talked about let them scream and shout. I don't need an alias. I'm proud of who I am. You guys have a great night. Thank you and keep on sublimating. Stop the bomb, hug your mom, keep on sublimating, rock on and party out. Let's go, scream and shout. You guys have a great night.